guys, welcome back to another episode of Chit Chat About Plants. So in today's episode, I am going to be talking about the Dracaena circulosa, aka Florida Beauty. This beautiful plant originates from West Africa. It loves tropical climates and warm temps. The Florida Beauty loves bright filtered light and can tolerate lower light. The more light you are giving this plant, the more variegation you will receive. So guys, when it is time to water your plant, just make sure that your soil, your medium is completely dried out. And if you still are not sure about your soil being dry, you can always use your finger to check the soil up to your knuckle or you can use your moisture meter. Up next, if you are experiencing your leaves dropping, that could be due to not enough sunlight or too much sunlight. So please make sure that if you have your plants in a south facing window where it has a lot of light coming in, that you pull your plant away from the window, that it's not directly touching the window in the summer. And I wait, excuse me, and I will say in the winter time as well. If you have stunted growth, that could be due to root rot or root mealybugs. So always check your leaves, your stem, your soil, and the roots if you are having problems with your plant. Don't just throw it out and say that you're done. You can beat this. It's just patience and taking the time to figure out what your plant needs. Common bugs would be mealybugs, aphids, spider mites, and scale. Me, personally, I do have neem oil and I have used it, but the neem oil was too strong for my plant. So I use a more natural alternative such as your dish soap, water, some alcohol, and I personally use essential oil. I use peppermint essential oil. And I have been told by someone that owns a plant nursery that you can use the, sorry, I had to go get the bottle, but you can use the Mrs. Myers Clean Day. And I have the lavender and I also have the lemon. And this can be used on your plants as well because this is a plant-based product. So just letting you know, and you can get this from your local grocery store. You can get this from your local Lowe's big box stores. Just to let you know, a good tip, you can use this. All right. Please remember that this whole entire plant, I mean, from the leaf down to the roots is toxic to your pets. So please keep in mind that even if you have flowers and berries on your plants, I haven't experienced that yet, they too are toxic to your pets. So keep that in mind as well. Lastly, um, if you notice the roots growing on top of your medium, your soil, it is time to repot your plant. That is a good indicator on when it's time to repot or you can look at your nursery pot and if you see roots coming out of the bottom you definitely know that it is time to repot your plant so i would recommend this plant to beginners you just have to have patience because this is a slow growing plant um, the new growth looks like this they look like tubes and then if it is growing out of the soil this is what it looks like coming out of the soil so you really have to be patient and you will get new growth i promise this is such a beautiful plant to own you will sometimes get yellow or white spotting on your plants that is a very 
um, you have, sorry, yellow or white variegation on your plants as well. So please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm really loving chit chats about plants. And while I'm learning things about plants, I just want to be able to help others. So until next time, guys, I'll check you out in the next episode. Bye.